In this lecture, let us discuss about techniques in white box testing. In our previous video, we have already seen what is meant by white box testing. It's all about testing the internal structure of the software. This method is considered as a most suitable testing method for developers to check their coding process. However, most of the time, testing is done by testers or quality engineers. So, when performing white box testing, Testers must have good understanding of programming languages and business logic written by the developers. White box testing techniques are mainly about execution coverage of the statements or conditions in the code. These techniques help us in identifying unwanted, inaccurate or invalid statements or conditions written by the developers. And also it defines a degree of source code that has been tested. So these are four important uh, techniques in white box testing. That is a statement coverage, path coverage, condition coverage, and decision coverage. First, uh, we'll go through the statement coverage part. Statement coverage is all about executing all the executable statements of the code at least once. Statement coverage can be found as a percentage value from total executable lines over number of lines executed. So here you can see the formula. So number of executable statements divided by total number of statements. So the goal of statement coverage is to cover all possible statements or parts of the source code. So most of the time testers are using flowcharts in order to understand the way of source code is executing. So how the source code is executing. So you can find out this statement coverage by using this formula. So we can find the total amount of achieved statement coverage. Let us take this example. So according to the given source code, when we give any value of x which is greater than 0, it will print value as, it will print the statement as x is positive. Say if the value is less than 0 or not greater than 0, then it will print x is non-positive. So let us take value of x as 4. So when we do the statement coverage testing here, we give different input for x right so here we are taking value of x as 4 so since 4 value is greater than 0 obviously it will print x as positive right so when the input value is 4 number of executable lines so how many how many lines will be executed in this code 1 2 3 4 and 5 so total number of lines executed when x value is equal to 4 is 5. So here you can calculate the statement coverage. So what is the formula for statement coverage? Number of executable statements divided by total number of statements. So here we have executed 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 statements. So 5 divided by total number of statements are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So 5 divided by 8 into 100. So we can say that the statement coverage in this case is 62%. So according to that, 38% of the code is unused. So we are not executing this part. So we can say that 38% of the code is unused. When we move to another case where if you take value of x as less than 0. So we are taking the opposite condition. So if you take x value as minus 4, then which statement will be executed? First this one. Then as this condition fails, we'll move to else part. And these statements will be executed, right? So total how many statements we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So here in the formula, we need to substitute total number of executable statements or executable lines. 6 by total number of lines. Executable lines by total number of lines into 100. In this scenario, statement coverage is 75 percentage. Here, tester should consider every possible case to execute every statement or line at least once. Statements are not executed are considered as unused lines or dead code. Statement coverage it can be considered as a good testing method for testing the source code. 
it would help to identify unused or incorrect code lines and improve the performance of the program second method in white box testing is path coverage this path testing it's a way of finding the logical flows of the code that can be executed so here we create a test case uh, in order to cover all those paths so this method is uh, very useful to test every path through the system let us take this example here and let us try to draw flow chart for this so here how many variables we have x and y so let us draw flow chart for this it will be something like this right first we need to read values of x and y and what is the condition here x greater than 0 and y equal to 0 so if that is the case if this condition is true in that case print condition is satisfied if the condition is false print condition is not satisfied according to this flow chart we can find and show all possible paths that can be executed so if the condition gets true here you can see if the condition gets true here then possible path is this path right so this is a uh, this is a possible path code will be executed say if the condition is false this is another possible path that can be executed so according to this example we can have two possible paths to execute the code 